Okay, I'm going to ready up and let Mike start us. auto tracker and I've got emo tracker so there's our countdown we shall do the thing Well, it does kind of suck for Hulahan, but, you know, not much we can do about that. things in here. Okay. to sell, but no guarantee this is going to matter, because he's not required to have the key. He actually does, though. Okay. Can't use my mirror scroll, because it'll put me back at Zelda's cell. Magic yet, but I'll take it. No, no, I don't want to do that. Never mind. Um, I just want to rescue Zelda, and I can come back here later. I just want to go back to the entrance, because I know you have to go through the throne room in order to get to the sanctuary. So, I will come back later and look to, uh, look to find more items. Ooh, there we go. I've already got... There's nine things in here. Um, oh, wait, that's right, I went that way. I can't. I have to find another way back. That was one way. And that's one way also. But I do actually have to go over this way. Never mind. I hate this. 
really do. It's... Oh, up here. This is gonna... You have to take a hit here. There's no way around it. Okay, good. So we can go this way. And then I'll just be able to do some more exploring later. Guaranteed to have to, in these settings, you're guaranteed to have to go through the throne room to get to the sanctuary. Okay, well, this is an item. And I'm not sequence breaking. I would like to ideally find the map so that I know exactly how many keys there are in this dungeon if I know if I actually ever need to come back to the castle. This might act this might just take me straight to sanctuary and then the remaining items are going to be in the sanctuary and the three in back of escape there we go okay so not too bad and one of those is the map so I don't know I'm just gonna mark three on Hyrule Castle I know there's three left Guess we'll take a peek and see whether I need to worry about Aga Tower. Well, I don't have to worry about Aga Tower for a lumberjack from a lumberjack perspective. Might still need it for other reasons, though. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and keep that. No entrance shuffle in this, so the dungeons are shuffled, but that's it. There's a vanilla overworld.
worth it. will not be back for that. And I will not be back for those. Alright, well, I do know that Eastern... Hold on, let me check. Yeah, crystal, crystal, green, Hera. I know Eastern's going to be beatable without the bow. Because we went through the bow-locked rooms um, in the castle. So Eastern is going to be beatable. Probably go there after Mini Moldorm. If I get money in Mini Moldorm, then I might. Um, I might do Zora first. If I get money to make it worth it. go do um I'm gonna do hobo and then uh and then just head towards uh eastern now by chance he's got money well we'll revisit the topic but he's just he's the most out of the way but not enough. So, but I should, I'll probably have enough by the time I get out of Eastern. So, Eastern should be clearable unless it has a uh, fire block. Or, um, I think it can have yeah, I think it can have the fire block from Desert Pat from Desert Rear or Desert Two. Um, I think that can be there. The front of Desert is going to be almost completely vanilla in this mode. There we go. There's our money. All right, let's go try to beat Eastern first, and then we'll probably do the Zora stuff. Oh, 
like 11 things in here. Let's go down here first. Check the big chest. Then we'll go left. <laughs> Here's the boss. And we are, in fact, fire blocked. Yep. Well, let me see what else I can find in here. This is the back of Eastern. That's all right. That's fine. I don't want to try to fight them. If I had another sword, maybe. There's five more things in there. I don't know what they are. All right, I have the money, so I'm going to go... I'm going to do the Zora checks now. This works with pseudo boots. We'll find out as soon as I jump down here. It does not. I didn't think it did. Thought that was a uh, limited to boots function, which is fine. It's not a big deal.
Okay. Wow, there's the lamp to get us through Eastern. Okay. So I have my pod money for when that comes up. Okay, so back to Eastern we go. Alright, we know the boss is that way, so let's go exploring this way. There are pots to pick up to be able to kill the, uh, be able to kill the, uh, Igor. I'm not worried about that. Alright, so we can save at least one key. Because that's the rupee room. Oh yeah, I'm really glad I didn't keep going. Now we're in Dark Aga. I bet this is probably going to be all keys. But I don't know that for sure, so... You know. glad I came back here. I am very glad I came back here. This will be the last item that I can mirror back and go to Armos. It'll be a fully clear Eastern. Because I got the blue goo, I can fill I can fill my health and then use Master Sword Beams.
Okay, let's go. So, I don't have the map, which means the map's on Armos. Hey, you know what? Let me... I'm just gonna fill my health this way. So I can keep my potion. There we go. I gotta make sure he doesn't hit me. Definitely don't want to have to fight them without beams. Because then they take a lot less damage. Sweet! Alright, there's one down. Eastern's fully cleared. So in terms of in logic, I have Sick Kid, uh, Agina, and then if I have access to Back of Escape. Guess let's start with Sick Kid. If I can find a glove, then I'm gonna have access to the back of the skate. Go to the desert. All right, Krim. Thanks for the lurk. Hopefully you can catch up on, uh, hopefully you can get a nap or something. Thankfully, I'm, I'm usually only affected when we spring forward, but it only lasts a couple hours and then I adapt. I also scout Desert Ledge. See if I need to care about that later. Nope. So it's either going to be this or I've got to go back to the castle. Although with the Master Sword, that's not a bad idea because that gives me Aga Tower also. Aga Tower it is. Back of escape can wait until I have a glove. Unless it's something really simple. I guess I could take a peek and see. If I get lucky, maybe back of escape is right through here. It is. Okay then. So we'll check this now. Okay, so it is in fact uh, Aga Tower for Dark World. So that's all clear. I gotta go through the tower. This is 
all that's left. Tiny. I mean, I already have Dark World because I have the Pearl. This matter of getting to the Dark World. That's fine. I want red mail, though. No bones about it. I want red mail. Now, oh, there's the only key. There's always a compass. So there's either... Um, yeah, there's always a compass. So there's one item left in here. There's the item. Hallelujah. Just gotta find Aga. Yep. There's always a compass and always a map. Nothing else is guaranteed in this mode. Probably gonna start flashing when I get through here. Nope, not yet. There it is. Hi, Aga. Well, I don't have a glove, so I'm still not going to have a whole lot of access. Like, So I have Pod. Um, I think what I'm going to do instead before I go to Pod is I think I'm going to route the lower Dark World. Because since I have the hammer, I can get through and go all the way over to... Um, whatever the hell. Um, all the way over to Dig Game. Basically, if if Mike did the flipper checks before Eastern, then he would have avoided a double dip. But we're going to leave Pot alone for right now, especially because since I have the mirror... This will put me back into dark. It'll put me on the pyramid as soon as I save and quit. So we'll do all this stuff, save and quit, and then go to pod. While a bow is not guaranteed to be needed, it probably will be. Five, six, skull, and pod. That was a pendant swamp and TR.
Okay, well, I got one of each bottle. One of each potion. I'm actually somewhat debating going into going into Hookless Swamp. But not yet. Not willing to do that just yet. Got some other stuff going on for right now, so. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if that's the answer, but I definitely want to dip a uh, crystal dungeon first. Screw this up three times, so I gotta be careful. Or twice, actually. And that would be a nun. Nine things in here. Hey, look, flippers. Possible. Okay, well, that's not terrible. Okay. Um, I cannot bonk to that because I don't have boots. Can't go that way. And go this way. I can't get that item. This could be a hook shop locked pod. If I don't get thrown out the damn door, that'll reset the boss fight. Alright, there are several keys in here because I saw a bunch of locked doors. Um, the only other thing I really have right now is Pendant Swamp. So I'm going to come back in here and see what else I can get with this key.
because I still have other place, other ways to go in here. Okay, so um, there are two more keys in here, so that's six, seven. Um, there's potentially two more items in here. This requires a bomb jump, but I don't care. I can do that. Um, There is an item that's back here. That item. Okay, um, so now let's go back to the beginning. One more key in here. And then there's two of something else. Hey, Bams! Oh, that's right, I don't want to go there. I already, did, I already went that way. How's it going? I'm going to go this way. See if I can find the big key. Because as of right now, there are two things I cannot access. I can't open the big chest, and I can't get to the hookshot locked chest. Oh, that's right. I could have stayed. Never mind. I could have stayed up there. Dum, dum, dummy, dummy, dum, dum. I'm doing all right. No complaints here. That's a locked door. This one, this just brought me up here. Yeah, so I can definitely, yeah, I can safely open this. And yeah, okay. So I am hookshot locked out of here. Okay, pod is, pod is hookshot locked. So there's three things left in here. And I need hookshot. So we're going into Pendant Swamp. Won't be able to beat it without hookshot, but that's fine. It's a pendant. I really don't want to. So there's there's one more item in pod because there's a small key a big key and an item and there's 15 in here with seven of which are small keys Hey, 
there we go. So we definitely needed that. So it does suck that I didn't come in here the first time. So there's eight things, plus a map and a compass, that's not, or seven, so that's nine. So there's potentially six things. I need to check that because that could be, uh, that could be the attic. So I need to find the crystal switch. Oh, we can save a key there. Okay, there's a big key. So that means there's potentially a total of five items in here. Or there are five items. push past this? No, you can't. Okay. So I have to come at that from the other side. Right. It's probably good to mirror anyway to change the music. I recognize that. Okay, well, I need this, um, but I want to go get that item first, and then I want to try to leave those pegs in that position. Okay, so I can flood this now because I got the item. And I know I could have done Diver Down, but I just... Diver Down is risky in this mode. Oh, and this should be vanilla. Yes, it is. Okay. That's a bow lock. I can't do anything there.
Now, I can get to this from the other side, but this is actually quicker. Maybe. I believe I have to go down here now. down here and around when I got blocked by the attic. Yeah, the attic was up here, I believe. Okay, so now we are done in here. I am blocked. Well, I'm going to assume I am. So we're going to stop here. I'm going to do my last, like, well, not last. I'm going to do my annoying out-of-the-way check in the form of catfish. And then we're going to Thieves' Den. There's, there's two items left in, uh, come on. Hey, seriously, let me in the whirlpool. Thank you. I believe there's potentially two items left in Swamp. What is my stun prize anyway? And I haven't checked it. It's a slap in the face. That's what it is. I hope this is something. Either way, it's mirror than save and quit. Go to Thieves Town. Um, I'm not going to bother going to the mountain yet. I'm always going to check this stuff first in case it uh, enables me to clear Thieves Town. Since blocks can kind of be anywhere. You've already seen... I think... Ooh, very nice. I um, think we've seen all the bow blocks. Maybe.
Alright, so if by some chance I have to go back to Pod for whatever that item is, it's clearable now because it was a hookshot block. That's a tiny thief stand. It's going to have a big key guaranteed because blind. So we already know that's one small key. So one small, one big map compass. Assuming there's no more small keys. That's a max of six items in this dungeon. But it's incredibly unlikely to only have the one. like that. Alright, so now there's maybe four items in here. Okay, nothing there. Well, there's the boss room. I just gotta find her. We gotta climb up here, go through this door here, and then over. Wait, no, that didn't do it. Um, is there another one I'm missing? I don't think so. Oh, there's that door, but I haven't found a way to connect to that door yet. Wait, no, I thought I did that one. Yeah, I did that one. That brought me out down here. So there's another way to get to that door somehow. I just haven't found the connector yet. Um... Very confused right now. I, this is why I I hate the uh, the vanilla lobbies because Thieves Town is a nightmare. Yeah, I have to get to that door, but I can't figure out how. Boss room. Right. I need to think. So, right here. That one seems to connect, but I'm not. Go to this door down here? And this door? No. Map is so small.
I gotta start this over. Um, so from here. This is gonna bring me through to the same room. Here. That is the bottom door. That brought me out to this door here. I need to find a way to that other door. doesn't take me over there. This is, I just, I hate Thieves Town when it's not shuffle. It's such a nightmare. That's the one I can't get to. Can't figure out how that connection is made. I just I can't right now. We're going elsewhere. I I cannot do that right now. I don't I don't know. I, I truly despise Thieves Town when it's not shuffled. It is such a pain in the ass. Six small keys in here. I don't have a small key yet. Can't go that way. big chest. So that's map, that's map comp is big and six smalls. So there's a maximum of six items in here.
somehow still not getting keys. Hey, we got a key. I'm almost certain this is a super tile. Yeah. But that's fine. There's there's really there's no such thing as wasting keys in this, so. haven't gotten the compass yet, so there's four dungeon items remaining in here. Here's one of them. I guess we'll try and fight Moth. That's 12 out of 15, and I still have to collect three keys, 13, 14, 15. Fully cleared. Fully cleared, uh, Skull Woods. <sighs> Alright, I guess I'll get my other annoying, uh, check out of the way, which is, uh, well, I'm gonna scout Bumper Ledge. And I'm also going to check, um, Thingamabobble. Um, Pyramid Fairy is available because Pod and Skull were my 5-6. I'm not going to rush to that, though. I want to go to the mountain instead. Okay, don't go. Yeah, I want to go to the mountain. Don't have to go the long way though, because don't have real boots. Take that. Okay. Now let's definitely go to the mountain because now I can do so much stuff up here. Including, well, Hera's Green Pendant, so I want to try to avoid that for right now, but it's an option. I will pop my head in to see how big Hera is. If it's a small dungeon, then... You know, if it's a small number of checks, I might, because thankfully, because of Herapot and everything, um, because of Hera's layout and all the pits, um, the majority of Hera has to be vanilla. As a matter of fact, the only part of uh, Hera that cannot be part of Hera is the basement, and we already found that. The main problem, however, is I really need a bathroom break. 
And I hate doing that during races, but I don't think I have much choice. I'll wait till I'm gonna try to hold off till I get two Hera. Last couple times I've been missing that in the first try. I don't think I'm going to need to come in here, at least I hope I'm not, but I'll open it anyway. Whew, much better. I think a little more clearly now, which <laughs> maybe that'll help with these. We'll see. Well, it doesn't matter for Bumper King, or Bumper Ledge. Okay. problem here is I do have to come out of well no I actually don't have to I could save and quit
I think this is quicker though. Magic wise, I don't need magic for Hera, so we'll do that. I want a mirror here because I have no idea what's in that rock. Let's find out. Don't care. Dip in the hair and see how big it is. Oh, five. Okay, well, for this, we'll beat it. Normally, I find uh, Moldorm right away. There's a big chest, which means there's a map compass big chest. If there's no small key doors, then there's only two items in here. There are no small keys. There are two items in here. This is probably going to be the big key. Yeah, had a feeling. Wasn't really sure what else it could have been. Alright, well, we might as well try to find these items real quick. Aeropod doesn't really do us any good here. Um, I do need that because I can't bonk... Uh. Uh. I can't bonk across, so... Oh yeah, that won't work. So this will be the item and then Moldorm, and I'm pretty sure I know exactly where he is, so... here, through that big key door, wrap around the super tile, and he should be right there. And he should be right on the other side of this. Yep, there you go. He's got anything good on him.
That is very bad. I mean, it's not very bad, but it's bad. You just, you, indoors, you don't want to get knocked down by him. I mean, really, you don't ever. This is a mission to get back to him. close. That was worth it. That was worth it, because now I can go check out Meyer area. So, definitely worth it. Um, I still need Bombos or Fire Rod before uh, Ice Palace is going to be accessible. And, you know, vanilla lobbies and all that. But now, while I still try to figure out just what the what the heck is going on with uh, Thieves Town, um, I can go do I can go visit Meyer and Desert. have magic and I have burner so I'll probably I'm not I'm not worried about Meyer like I don't have a I don't have a quick way to kill um to kill Viddy but I'm not too worried about that done. Uh, I'm gonna go turn in this green pendant first to see if maybe it was doubly important. Do that after Egg is dead. You gotta be ready with hookshot. Open Meyer. And there's Ice Palace. So really, I am potentially in go mode right now. Not guaranteed, because I am potentially in go mode. I'm gonna go take care of Desert first. Since Desert's pretty much guaranteed to be vanilla, like the entirety of the front, let's do this first. 
or let's not. Now I have access going this way, like using the book, so I'm not worried about doing this. Because the book does get me in here legitimately. I'm just shortcutting that. Alright, there's at least one lock sa one lock save. It changed colors because the uh, back is not vanilla. You saw that in Eastern Palace. This might be boots locked. That is the problem we face there. Not boots locked. Okay, so I think I have to go to the back of desert first. Uh, this might not work. I might get stuck. Nope, didn't get stuck. Okay. the big key yet, so I can't check the big chest. There's the big key. And I don't have map or compass, so that's 6-7. So, if there's no more keys, then there's two more items in here. I'm going to go back in and check the big chest. We know where the compass is. So if the big chest... Uh, no, not here. So if the big chest has... Well, actually, whatever the big chest has. If it has the map, it's going to tell me if there's another key somewhere. And if it has anything other than the map, then I know we're done. We're done. Okay, so that's a fully clear desert. Let's go, uh, let's go dip into mire. Ice. There's 
ten things in here, so it's not a very big dungeon. Why even bother? Okay, it's not key locked. Like, if I even bother trying to light these things, I want to know if it's going to be Kila. So there's a big key map compass. So there's at least one. So there's a. And there's that. So that's two small key doors as of right now, unless they're connected. Um. So there may not be very many items in here. first. So, I'm going to assume that as of right now, I'm in go mode. Um, of course, there's absolutely no guarantee I am, and I could very much not be. Um, but I'm going to head to Ice Palace. And I just got to remember there's eight things left in my own. Even if GT has a bow block, I think the only possible blocks are the mimics, and I can clip those. Then again, so can my opponent. I know, I know Mike can mimic clip as well, so that that's not an advantage. It's just one less item to worry about finding. I would like a sword so that I'm not doing Master Sword Silverless Ganon, however. I mean, I'll do it if it comes to it, but I really don't want to.
Uh, I don't want to do that yet. Oh, well, it's not going to be blocked, because here they are. Um, this one's blocked, which I'm not going to follow yet. I've got other paths I can take. So I, I actually shouldn't have gone through there. I knew that was going to be that. Um, no, I shouldn't even have gone that way. right I always mix this up with the other one but there's not there's not two pokies okay so that so we do have to go this way still other options in here though about that. So those are going to loop, almost certainly. Okay, found that side. So I can eat, I can get around that bow block. right around. Yep, it did. Okay. There's at least two big chests in here. Okay, well. Just go for it. See, I because I know Mike is comfortable with uh, Master Sword, so I do have to keep that in mind. Be ready to use a potion as soon as if I take another hit, then that'll that'll knock me out for that. That'll put me in Oko, so I don't want that. Actually, I can take one more hit for the blue mail. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. So now we just gotta go back and try to find our damn way through Thieves Town. Because that's Crystal Six. I just gotta get through Thieves Town. There's 11 things left in Ice Palace. Should I need to come back there? But I hope that I don't. I'm really going to try to figure this out. This is, it's just, it's going to break my brain without a doubt. This should be vanilla. Like, all of this should be vanilla. Like, that's vanilla. And this should be vanilla. It is. Okay. So let's start by going through this door. Where are we at? Okay, that's this door here. It's... I, I gotta make this tracker bigger so I can see it better. Uh, why did it do that? Why did it bring up an EG window? Um, that actually didn't get any bigger, so it doesn't really matter. Crap. What's going on here? Ah, large. Okay. Well, that didn't do much either. Okay, yeah, so that really doesn't help. Um, alright, so... Hold on. I'm gonna mirror. Okay, so... Telling it, I just... I don't know if it's gonna do anything. I clicked the thing that says redraw. So hopefully that means it's gonna remap this stuff. Because there's definitely... Something's not right. This is taking me to... It is taking me here. But see, it think no, no, see, it's not. Hold on. It's drawing the wrong one. It's taking me to this one here. That took, no, that's not where that is. That is taking me there. Okay, I don't, I don't know what the hell just happened. Yeah. Okay, I clicked redraw. So, now it looks... Yeah. This door here. So... Oh! Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I think. Yeah, I am. This goes right around to it. This is the door I couldn't get to. Big stupid dummy. There we go. There we are. I don't know why. Uh, I'm gonna go that way over there. And this should take me down to the basement. Oh, maybe not. Oh yeah, there we are. Okay. Alright, I, 
have the big key, so now it's just a matter of, you know, I should probably look around here to see if I can find another, I don't know, we'll see. Certainly not checking that. I haven't found Mapper Compass yet, so that's six, seven. I'll check this real quick, see if it takes me to a quick item. It's been two items. With a bow. So the bow and the boots, oh my god. Oh, here's the last item, I might as well grab it. Well, again, assuming it's not... Still an item in here. I know where the boss room is, so I'm just gonna see if I can find. Yep, here we go. Okay, last item's on the boss. This is the tournament I was mentioning, um, like a week or so ago when when uh, when it came up. This is level one doors, so it's not as mind melding. Thieves Town, however, can be a nightmare in this mode because of the fact that all the lobbies are 100. This lobby is 100% vanilla. All right. So now I just got to go to GT. Now I would love to find a second bow so that I don't have to do Master Sword Silverless Ganon, but I will do it. Yeah, no, they, so they play level they play level three doors, which normally is what I play. Um, I'm just doing this in order to try to get a little bit better at the doors the doors aspect of it. Because there's no entrance shuffle here. It's only dungeon shuffle. But now I guess gotta go to GT. But that's unfortunate, because I could have beat that Thieves' Town on the first trip through. So I could have already been in GT, so we'll see. I'm not expecting to win against my opponent, because he's really good. But, you know, if I can keep it close, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be happy. If I can keep it close, I'll be happy. At least, at least, you know, this, this tournament comes with pseudo boots. So even though I found the boots themselves super late, it doesn't matter. The only way it would really matter is if one of the boots lock, lo boots lock checks has another sword. But at this point, I am just going on the assumption that this is a Master Sword Silverless fight. Yeah, it's because it's beginner for doors. That's the thing. Because he doesn't play a lot of doors. should be in go mode because of the fact that uh, I found the bow. The fire rod should not be needed for anything. Unless I have to progress through the right side, the vanilla right side of GT in order to find the big key. Then I could, that's, that's really the only option that could put me not in go mode if I need to do right side GT. just turn lights on. Hmm. Well, let's start by taking this one. 17, so it's not a very big GT. As you can tell.
I want to follow stairs because I want to try to ideally get up to where Aga is. Here's Aga. So, go boat confirmed. Now we just gotta do a Mass Sword Silverless Ganon. That shouldn't take me more than 14 hours. Right? Is that the over-under? half magic, I have the cape, I have a green goo, a blue goo, and a red goo. So I should be equipped plenty good for this. Just the question of how the hell long it's going to take. Safe and use that one first. Oh. Apparently, it's not going to take me that long to uh, to at least get to phase three. Just phase four is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> the silvers were. Thankfully he'll tell me, but no, I'm just curious. Alright, I'm gonna let him get away for now, because I gotta secure this torch glitch. Oh, they're with the bat. So I know where that is, but I'm just gonna stick with this, because by the time I go there and come back, it's not worth it. I gotta get 24. Could be 11, 12.
Yeah, come on. This, I'm gonna lose. I'm. I mean, I. Granted, I'm not looking at the race room, but you know, this alone is enough for me to lose. That might be 15 or 16, I'm not entirely sure. He's dead. So for my can a little bit. And I won. I actually won. Holy shit. Thanks for the GG's muffins. Thanks for rolling the seed. Oh man. I cannot believe Thieves Town broke my brain that bad. That's honestly why I started playing Doors 3 as bad as I am at it. Because Thieves Town with vanilla, you know, that vanilla super tile, the whole vanilla lobby thing. It's not fun. It's really not fun. Not bad. That was... <laughs> that was a very sloppy... Master Sword Silverless, but for me, that wasn't sloppy. Yes, yes, that was, and the biggest thing that messed me up in there was, and I know this is an issue with, this is potentially an issue with the auto tracker, so I'll have to mention it to, I'll have to mention it to, um, I, yeah, I can't think of it right now. Um, yeah, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know. Um, but it, it um, I do have it auto-mapped since we're allowed to auto-track in this tournament. And it mapped, uh, it mapped Thieves Town incorrectly. Um, it had it as when I went through the door in the top one as coming out at the top door, which was the one I needed to reach that it wasn't actually connecting me to. So... It actually linked me to the wrong door. Um, and once I deleted it and chose redraw, it set the correct one next time I went through the door. Um, but I did have that problem, yeah. Because I was like, it's telling me that I went through there. Uh, okay, so as long as you know about it, because it's, because yeah, once I deleted it, it mapped it correctly. It just mapped it incorrectly the first time and I just completely forgot on my own until I like got right up on the monitor. I completely forgot that from Thieves Town entrance, you just go all the way around to hit that door. And I just completely forgot. Uh, I just, I missed it. Um, but otherwise, I very, very much love this tracker. It's only the second time I've used it. Um, I've seen Andy use it a bunch. Um, but I've only I've only used it now this second time, um, and I like it. It's very nice. I know the auto tracking feature may not be available in time for Doors League, but that's fine. Um, 
by that point, if I if I end up having the time to participate in the regular Doors League, uh, I'll spend some time getting acclimated with how to manually do this, because I honestly haven't even thought about it. I'm like, oh, it auto-tracks? We're allowed to do that in this tournament? Good, that's what I'm doing. And I'll learn it later. Ugh. <sighs> But yeah, honestly though, it's been uh, it's been good. Um, the only thing I want to figure out, I don't, I haven't figured out unless it's something really obvious. And again, I haven't read. The, the, I'm gonna tell you now, I haven't, I haven't RTFM. I haven't done that. Um, but is there an actual broadcast view, or is it just capture the window and like chroma key aspects out of it? I haven't done it. I know. I know I'm guilty. I know I'm guilty of it. Okay, that's fine. So that's what I kind of figured it was. But because I don't really have any room for it on my layout right now, I wasn't super worried about it. Um, uh, I was. I was debating doing a... Super Metroid casual after this. Um, if you're not aware, Crescens, because I know I I posted this in my Discord, but um, there is a casual fork of Total's SMZ3 that allows you to remove things such as Infinite Bomb Jump from Logic. And given how much that screwed with me yesterday and eventually caused me to rage quit... Um, I'm definitely while I um while I learn to route SMZ3 better, while I get my execution better, I'm going to play with the casual fork that will guaranteed not require infinite bomb jump. Um I can do it. I did it like 7 times yesterday on stream. Um so it's not that I can't do it. It's just while I get better at the game itself, I don't want to be forced to do it. That's the big thing. 